Dear viewers, welcome back to the analysis of Yuleno TV. I hope you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. Uh, a couple of days ago, we shared a story about Martha Kome's very expensive a vehicle that she used to attend uh, the event at Madaraka uh, uh, on Madaraka Day at the Embu Moy Stadium. So it is alleged from what Abdul Nasir Abdullah had said that Mata Kome has released 15 million for financing a social media platform that will be countering anybody who attacks her or attacks the judiciary this was exposed by Abed Nasir Abdullahi in a Twitter that he shared with the Kenyan with the netizens and this is what Abed Nasir said following my tweet today CJ Matakome ordered the Kenya Judiciary AG finance director to release 15 million for a social media and mainstream media campaign to fight back. The first person she sought to give the job refused. He is my man. My details follow. What does that mean? In a nutshell, what that means is that according to Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, Matakome has decided to hire someone to be countering those attacks that are leveled on her in the social platform so these details and according to many people is that chief justice has been accused of releasing close to 15 million kenya shillings to fund bloggers to counter information released by senior counsel amin nasir abdullahi about how she's managing or she's mismanaging the judiciary senior counsel lawyer amin nasir abdullahi has been launching scathing attacks at Matakome, accusing her of being incompetent as the president of the judiciary. Last week, during the Madaraka Day event, the flamboyant city lawyer shared pictures of Matakome being carried in a very expensive high-end vehicle, something that sparked public debate from bitter Kenyans. That is what I was telling you about, the vehicle that was estimated to be worth at around 23 million Kenya shilling. Earlier on, I think you remember, I did an analysis on this vehicle where I shared some details uh, where in that analysis, PLO Lumumba, uh, uh, former justice, that is um, uh, William Tungam, waiting on this matter, I mean, Nasir waiting on this matter, and so many Kenyans talked about it. So many people told Matakome that she was spending, she was mismanaging the resources or the finance of the judiciary. Whereas, whereby some people say that the money that William Ruto had added to the budget of judiciary is being mismanaged. It could be the reason why uh, Matakome is buying very, very high end uh, vehicles like the one that we saw. Uh, the, 23 million worth vehicle. So, <clears throat> if this is true, what Amanda Siri is saying, that uh, Martha Kome is now hiring a blogger and he will pay the blogger, he is going to spend 15 million for just camp social media campaign. So, that means anytime anybody attacks Martha Kome online, then that blogger will be countering that attack. If 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 this if these details are, are correct and uh, if if uh, what uh, Menasir is saying is true, then I think that is that be the role of the blogger. So according to the senior counsel, the first person the chief justice Matakome approached to counter lawyer Menasir Abdullah's information refused. Okay, the vocal lawyer has been slamming the chief justice for a while now, and has been exposing the the road the writ happen in the arm of the government man, uh, mandated to administer justice in the country. However, Chief Justice Matakome has never said anything about the accusations being made by Ahmed Nasir. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm reiterating the fact that Ahmed Nasir is saying that someone was hired. The first person that was hired to do this 
countering is uh, according to Ahmed Nasir is a close body of his so that person refused to take up that job so the second person who has been hired I think this person could have accepted but the budget that has been allocated for this assignment is 15 million so it's 15 million is supposed to counter uh, anybody you know that is even if your landlord decides to attack Martha Kome, that blogger will be able to respond to those like you know to neutralize any kind of social media attack on Martha Kome. That means, uh, if, if my facts are correct, then it means the, m the numerous social media attacks that have been leveled on Martha Kome looks like was in Amfikia. So that could be reason why she is now countering those attacks. So as she has specifically targeted Ahmed Nasir, because Ahmed Nasir has lately been on Martha Kome's neck. I want to remind you that last year, Ahmed Nasir supported Martha Kome 100%. In fact, during the, 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 the verdict, the issues of the verdict of the presidential uh, petition, Ahmed Nasir supported Martha Kome. And he said that Martha Kome was the right person for that job. I don't know why now uh, Ahmed Nasir is now, I mean, has a, has, a, has a different opinion of Martha Kome. We don't know why, but... He talks about mismanagement of the judiciary, talks about mismanagement of the budget allocated to the judiciary. He talks about a number of things. He talks about, says that Martha Kome is lazy and that uh, there are things that uh, he does in the judiciary which don't conform with the CJ. But that is not, those are not my words, but the words of Ahmed Nasir. So, dear viewers, I just wanted to share with you that detail regarding the. 15 million allocation of the budget for financing the blog activities in, in trying to counter any threat, any social media threat from Amin Nasir to Matakome. So Matakome is using that blogger as a shield and someone who's going to neutralize any social media threat on her. So dear viewers, you can tell us below the comment section what to think about this analysis or to think about the latest expose by Amen Nasir. Can you tell us what to think about that? And once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe, stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.